We know that human error is a huge factor in safety incidents on civil construction sites. So using simulation to address some of those human issues should enable industry to be a safer place for new entrants. Hi, I'm Victoria Griffith. I'm Interactive Learning Manager at Civil Train SA. I think simulation plays a key role in ensuring that new entrants to any industry are being exposed to sound training models. We work with students at a range of levels. Our entry level students at Certificate 2 level will not have been on a real piece of machinery in their lives. So to enable them to get used to the controls familiarisation on a simulator is a huge benefit to their employability skills. In civil construction, we have the next generation of civil contractors coming through who have a clear expectation of using technology as part of their training. They're used to learning through technology, so therefore the outcomes of that learning is going to be more successful. When you're using simulation for training purposes, you really need to make sure that you've got sound pedagogical models, that you've got experienced trainers and really clear session plans with clear learning outcomes. The simulators won't do the training for you. It's very important that you build in the human dimensions. We've used simulation in civil construction, but it's transferable across many industries. If productivity is measured by your inefficiency in your processes and simulation allows you to monitor and evaluate those inefficiencies and then address any gaps you've got, obviously productivity is going to be increased. Simulation is the way forward. Adelaide is really emerging as a hub of digital capability in regards to simulation and new digital technologies and how they can be used for learning and training.